Okay, so today I was on um, Reddit, uh, on um, the Pottery subreddit, and someone had said they were having trouble centering. So myself and a couple other people gave some suggestions. A video from Simon Leach, a video from Tim C. Potts, and um, neither of those videos uh, showed the way that I uh, kind of taught myself. Uh, from a potter in New Hampshire. Uh, he originally showed me and then I practiced uh, learning that way. And of course as you you know go on practicing um, you kinda get the feel for it and something clicks inside and you no longer have to do it the way you learn. So, But I'm gonna show you the foolproof way that I learned how to center and kind of explain as I um, as I go along, so uh, let's check it out. So the first thing that um, that you do, um, get as close as you can to the wheel, okay? Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this as close to the center as possible and make sure that the, the bottom is kind of rounded, okay? Just add just a little bit of water and uh, put it in the center as close as you can. Okay, so of course when you center there's coning and everything like that, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to center this without coning to show how I learned, okay? So the first step, let me make sure I, this is in the picture here. So the way that I learned is, is what you want to do is you want to tuck your elbow right into your hip, okay? And what that's going to do is it's going to limit the movement of your arm, okay? So what you want to do, you want to do this with your left hand if you're right-handed because the wheel's turning counterclockwise. So you want to center against the rotation of the wheel. So you want to make an imaginary line from the center of the lump hitting this part of your hand and traveling all the way up your arm in a straight line and that's where you're going to put the pressure okay now I said in the reddit subreddit this hand isn't doesn't really do much it holds the clay down this is the hand that's going to do the actual centering and what you do is you're going to limit the movement of your arm. You're not even going to use your arm or your muscles. You're going to tuck your elbow into your hip and you're going to push forward. And your body weight is going to keep that clay from moving. Okay? So we'll get the wheel going here with some water. So normally we would cone this, and I'll show you that in a minute. But basically, we're just going to center this, so I'll kind of push this down a little bit, and you can see it's obviously not centered. So all we're going to do is we're going to make this imaginary line, and to follow our arm, okay? And all we're going to do is we're going to use the heel of your hand, and you're going to push. Like I said, you're not going to push with your arm, you're going to lean forward, and that will make the pressure. Now as you can see, it's almost centered. So now what we need to do is you need to get some downward pressure on this piece of clay. You can get downward pressure on it with this hand. So you're going to set up and you're going to let it ride on here and you're going to push down. So you're pushing down with your hand 
and at the same time you're pushing with your body and your arm here. The goal of this is to not let that clay do anything, go anywhere. Okay, so you can see that took you know, very little effort. So, the other important thing is you have it centered, okay? You need to come off nice and slow. That piece of clay is under torque. It's actually bent. See it bend like that? So when you're centering, when you get it centered, okay, if you come off fast, it's off center. So what you're going to do is you're going to push in, you're going to push down, you can use this, you can do it like this, you know, people do it like this, you've seen videos. If you want a big lump of clay, it's the same idea, you want to push here, you can use your forearm. It doesn't make a difference because this hand is just keeping a downward force so it doesn't volcano and cone up. Okay? So, in the post I also said, you know, you see people doing this. They center like this. Well, that's, that's good, but this isn't doing anything and this isn't doing anything. All the work is here and here. When you see people centering, then your natural movement is to put your fingers on the clay like this. That's, that's why you see that. Now, when you get used to centering clay, you, you know, you don't have to tuck in and use your body. It's, it's, an, it's another motion like you get used to. So you just center it, and off you go. But it's the same, pro, it's the same principle. Pushing here with force, and pushing down and everything in a slow movement. So if I take a wire and I cut this off and I'll put a new lump on here. Now that one's they didn't hit the center obviously but it's the same process. You, you just push until you get in the center. Keep this arm hand still. Now you can see it's messy looking, but it's 99% centered just by doing this. Okay? Push down. Push in and push down. And that's the way you do that. Again, come off nice and slow and it should be good. It's, it's a confusing thing to learn. Uh, I remember when I started, it took a long time. I watched a lot of videos. Um, Tim C. So, so let me start here. So when I cone, I cone it up, and I take my right hand, and I push down, hold with, again, we're using this technique with the torque, coming into my hand, a straight line arm into the center here and I push down and when you push down you still it's always pushing against this part of your heel don't use up here this is going to move a lot but if you if your elbows locked in and you're pushing on here it has no place to go none so when I throw I cone it up a couple of times I get it loosely in the center, you cone it up a couple, three, four times, and you can see I'm bringing it up, just squeezing, bringing it up, and then I'm pushing it down with this part of my hand while keeping pressure here, right, and here, and push down. And when you do that nice and slow, and come off nice and slow, you'll be centered. So. I hope this helped. Again, it's it's very confusing, but you know I taught a lot of people over the years how to uh, throw pots, how to how to center clay. It's always a struggle for for people when they start.
And this is the method that, that's always worked for me and the people that, that I teach because, again, the, the, basic, the basic mechanics of it is you have a point here when your elbow's locked in your hip, it's immovable. And as the clay comes into your hand, it has no place to go but evenly around in a circle. And like I said, this hand or arm or pinky or whatever is just holding that clay down. That's its sole job. All the centering is coming from this point here when the clay rotates in here. Now if you're if you're uh, left-handed and you have the wheel going the other way, it's just, it's just the exact opposite. Now, some people can, you know, once you get good at it, you know, you can do it this way. You can, you can do it the opposite way. But see what happens when, when you try and center, and the clay is coming this way. It wants to pull like this, and it's difficult to keep your arm kind of steady. I mean, it will work, but it's just easier to have the clay come into your hand on the left hand, on your left hand, like this. So, anyway, I hope, I hope that helped. Um, it's frustrating, I know, and all it takes, you know, is practice, just like anything else. So, it's just. There's many different ways to do things, and like I said, this is the easiest way that I've found to teach people and to, to explain the process. So, anyway, hope that helped.